when we're playing around with data or trying to test a solution, it's often useful to have a mock data set to work with. You can find plenty of those online, but what if you want to create your own to your own specific requirements or in your own format? You could spend some time in Excel or Python, create some assumptions, and from that, create a data set that has some sort of trends in different categories. But what if we could use AI to do all of that for us? I'm using ChatGPT4, but I'm not using the advanced data analysis package because I want you to be able to see the results here and I don't want them in an Excel file. Just like if we had a real analyst on our team doing this task for us, it's going to involve a bit of back and forth and discussion. So I want you to see how we can do that with ChatGPT to enhance and improve the first result that it gives us. Let's start with some very specific instructions for ChatGPT. I want to create an example dataset with one fact table and one dimension table. I want to start with the employee dimension. I've given it some prompts as to the example columns I want to see in that dimension table. So we've got an example employee dimension here, but the business I have in mind is a warehousing and inventory project. So I don't necessarily need all these roles from different areas of other businesses. Instead, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to update the departments of the employees and at the same time, update job titles and salaries. I'm not getting too specific about what I'm asking. I think it will get the idea and work it out. That's looking much better. Let's have a go at the fact table. Again, I'm giving specific instructions. Let's create the fact table. Imagine this is a warehousing and shipping company. Each row in the fact table represents one stock movement. Stock is moved as per requirements in one of three categories, incoming stock, admin, and fulfilling orders. I've given a few examples of columns I want to see in the facts table. So each stock movement should include product ID, date, employee, stock value, stock weight, and I've left it the freedom to include some other metrics if possible. And let's see what it gives me as the first 10 rows of this facts table. So we've got our example facts table with different attributes, IDs, and metrics, stock value, stock weight, and it's even included units moved and destination zone. So we've got some great sample data that we can start to work with there. It's assigned each of the stock movements to one of the three categories that I wanted. And so using the data analysis package, I could recreate this and ask it to extend this data set to say 10,000 rows and create me an Excel file that I can play with in Power BI. When I've done this on bigger data sets, you can even start to ask it to build in trends for certain products so that certain categories maybe go out of date or stop selling, or perhaps you want to see some seasonal trends around some holiday periods. Either way, when you're trying to experiment with data and create new data sources like this, ChatGPT is a great tool to practice not only your data skills and how you think about the data set, but your way of interacting with AI and having that discussion-based approach to getting to the solution that you want.